So now we're ready to differentiate something that looks like this. And we specifically want to find dy by dx. So it's good practice to show to the examiner and to everyone else that you are differentiating with respect to x. So I'm going to write d by dx of both sides. So 3x to the 4 plus 4e to the 2y plus x sine y is equal to d by dx of 8. Okay, So it's really telling us what we're going to do in the next stage. So I'm going to differentiate each of these terms. So 3x to the 4 differentiates to 12x cubed. 4e to the 2y, the 2 comes down the front, e to the 2y, and then because I've differentiated y with respect to x, there's going to be a dy by dx here. Now I've got to differentiate that x sine y. I'm going to have to use the product rule to differentiate that. So it's the first times the derivative of the second, which is cos y dy by dx, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so sine y times 1. Notice how there's no dy by dx that comes on the end there, because I'm not differentiating y in that second part of the product rule. Now the right hand side, differentiate 8 with respect to x, so that's 0. So now what I want to do is I want to rearrange this to get dy by dx equals. So I'm going to leave anything on the right hand side of the equation that has a dy by dx in it, or anything on the left hand side of the equation that has a dy by dx in it rather, and shove everything else onto the right hand side. So those bits can stay. The 12x cubed and the minus and the sine y can go. I'm then going to factorise the left hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to have to different, um, sorry, divide both sides by that bracket. So I'm left with dy by dx equals minus 12x cubed minus sine y over 8e to the 2y plus x cos y. So dy by dx does not look very pretty whatsoever. The original function, uh, the original uh, equation rather, didn't look very pretty either. But this is the process that we can now go through, differentiating each term, using the product rule, the chain rule, and now differentiating y with respect to x in order to get down to the final answer there.